So today I'm talking about underbuilds or basements, whatever you want to call it. Now when I first come to Spain I never really even thought about a, an underbuild or a basement. And I don't know, it's only in certain parts of Spain because when I was down there in Malaga, didn't see anything down there, but up in Murphy region, most of the properties here do have underbuilds. So I'm just going to give you a quick who I am first. My name's Sean. I've been living out in Spain now for over four years. I live in the Murphy region, which is the Costa Colada. I'm just outside the town of Maveron on a big urbanisation called Canvasal. I'm also trying out something new as well, so figure out works out right as well. If you want to support me, expat and Mazaron, why not buy the t-shirt? This is what it's going to look like. It costs $12.99 plus postage to most parts of the world. If you don't want to buy the t-shirt, why not buy me a coffee? That would be fantastic. Now both of these links are below the video. The t-shirt offer is in the comments below and the, if you want to buy me a coffee, is in the description so I want to thank you and now you can watch the video I'm in quite a tall building I'm on a sort of a slope here so my main part of my property is up there and here is where the underbuild is what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you some video footage I did when I first arrived here back in 2015 stroke 16 is when we decided that we were going to do something with our underbuild so I'm just going to show you the first clip and that's in the basement. I can't believe how big it is. You find some of these basements the same size as the size of your layout of your property. And some of the places that I've been into, some people have converted it into apartments with bedrooms, a kitchen, toilet, shower room. Some other people turn it into their games room. So there's potential there. So if you are looking for property, especially here in Spain, having a basement is a big bonus. To me, it's like having the attic, <laughs> but downstairs. So I'm just gonna carry on showing you some more clips because one of the things that we weren't really sure of when we first arrived in Spain, do we have to bring all our furniture with her? And we bought a massive sh shipping container of all our stuff. We didn't need it all, but thankfully with the space that we had in the underbuild, um, we had loads and I'm just going to show you some clips there of the guys going in filling out the rooms it's a huge space now on the video it probably doesn't look that big but gives you some idea what you can do there but what we had on our underbuild was just a bare shell really we, you had the supports and then you just had the walls around it now, some of the properties that I've looked at before we bought this property was that some of where maybe the properties near um, bottom of a hill or something, they had pumps in there, water pumps. And that was that when we get the heavy rains there, they do tend to flood a bit. So if you are looking at property with underbuild, especially ones that are done out as apartments, good time to check really is in the winter because that's when we usually get the, the wet months. So you, if you can smell mould or something like that, they haven't been done out properly. So that's something to remember as well, guys. So I'm going to carry on showing you some more footage now. Now this is when we got the builders in. It was sort of like after the summer when it's not so hot. Uh, it took us about two weeks. And I'm just going to show you each stage of what, what was going on. So virtually on the first day, once all the blocks and that were put into the garden, the guys got straight on with it. They put up the main wall. In the video, we've got three doors in the main wall, and obviously there's a door for where my studio is going to be. And after each day, obviously it progressed. Um, the walls were virtually finished. My, wall, my room was sort of done. We had the doorway put in. They then started to do the plaster in. In the meantime, the electrics guy had come in and was putting all the cabling in. Amazing, what, you know, what goes on when they're doing these things. We had a fuse box put in as well. 
we, we converted uh, the tap water as well because we obviously got a sink in there now. They then put the floor down. Once they put the floor down, that made it more like a, a, a living space. What we didn't do in the end, we didn't, I didn't actually show you when they finished completely. I just sort of stopped it at really once we've done the floor. I then went outside to where our doorway is. Um, that opens it up completely because all, all it was when we first arrived there, I think I can't show it to you really. It's, it was just a grey door. Um, yeah. We put uh, some glass blocks in and put some light in there. So I'm going to show you some photographs now of how it is now. Now my wife, is she was a, a teacher at the local college in the UK. Uh, jack of all trades as I call her. Uh, she loves making things, drawings, putting stuff together. So she's got a huge space compared to my studio. <laughs> Still big enough for me for what I'm, I need it for. Uh, really it's just for doing my video work with and, and sort of planning what I need to do with making these videos really. But it's, it just gives you an idea guys if, if you do find a property sometimes because we've only got a two bedroom, two bathroom property we could if we wanted to is to put two bedrooms down below, put in a bathroom as well with a, with a wet room for a shower and things like that. So yeah, something to think about. So I hope you found that useful. As I always say, guys, you've got to keep watching because if you don't, you're going to miss something. And if anybody else has got a basement and they've converted it into a living space, please add it to the comments, put some photographs up because I know a lot of people thinking about coming abroad because I never thought about an underbuild or a basement, what you could do with it. It is a big bonus. So anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.